this video, we will uncover the six most powerful ways to trigger a narcissist. Use them responsibly, and just be aware that the last one can be especially powerful. Number 1. Questioning their abilities. At the heart of a narcissist's carefully curated persona is a grandiose sense of their own abilities and achievements. This isn't mere confidence, it's an inflated view of self, often detached from reality. Questioning or challenging this perceived competence can be deeply unsettling for them, triggering immediate defensive reactions. When you raise doubts or seek clarifications about their claims, accomplishments, or skills, it pierces their armor of self-assuredness. Even if your intent is innocent or genuine curiosity, to a narcissist, it can feel like a direct assault on their identity. They've invested significant energy in portraying themselves as the best, the most knowledgeable, or the most skilled, and any suggestion to the contrary is intolerable. Reactively, they might lash out, attempting to belittle your knowledge or credentials. Alternatively, they might embark on a lengthy diatribe, exaggerating their achievements or bailaboring their expertise. Either way, the objective is the same, to re-establish their perceived dominance and superiority. It's crucial to approach such interactions with caution. While questioning their abilities can unveil their narcissistic tendencies, it can also provoke intense, sometimes aggressive, reactions. Understanding this trigger can help in navigating interactions with narcissists, whether one chooses to challenge them or to tread lightly to avoid confrontations. Number 2. Ignoring or neglecting them. A narcissist thrives on attention, seeing it as both validation and fuel. Their sense of self-worth is intrinsically tied to the acknowledgement they receive from others. Therefore, when faced with neglect or outright ignorance, they often react with intense discomfort, even rage. Ignoring or neglecting a narcissist strips them of the spotlight they so ardently seek. Suddenly, their carefully constructed world, where they are the central figure, begins to crumble. Whether it's not reacting to their stories, overlooking their presence in a gathering, or simply not giving them the reactions they anticipate, this perceived slight can be deeply triggering. In response, they might engage in more pronounced attention-seeking behaviors, trying desperately to reclaim the lost limelight. This can manifest as louder proclamations, exaggerated tales, or even attempts at causing conflict to redirect focus back to them. However, it's also not uncommon for them to resort to victim playing, suggesting they are being unjustly ignored or mistreated. The objective remains the same, to manipulate the environment and the people in it to refocus on them. When opting to ignore or neglect a narcissist, it's essential to be prepared for the potential fallout. While it can be a means of establishing boundaries or highlighting their manipulative tendencies, it can also escalate situations, making interactions more volatile. Number 3. Setting Boundaries. Boundaries are essential tools for healthy interpersonal dynamics. However, to a narcissist, boundaries are perceived as direct affronts to their control and dominance. When you establish clear limits, be it emotional, physical, or conversational, you're essentially challenging their perceived entitlement to access all parts of your life without restriction. For a narcissist, boundaries disrupt their narrative of superiority and entitlement. They are used to moving freely through conversations, manipulating emotions, and overstepping where they see fit. Setting a boundary communicates that their behavior is not acceptable, and they no longer have free reign in the relationship. This can evoke a range of reactions. They might respond with anger, belittling the need for such boundaries, or they might attempt to guilt trip, suggesting that the establishment of boundaries is an act of hostility or rejection. In more covert instances, they may feign confusion or innocence, acting as though they don't understand the boundary or suggesting it's an overreaction. Yet, despite the challenges, setting boundaries is paramount when interacting with narcissists. It's a method of self-preservation, ensuring one's emotional and mental well-being. It's crucial, however, to remain firm in these boundaries, as any sign of wavering can be seen as an invitation for further encroachment by the narcissist. Number 4. Constructive Criticism. For most individuals, constructive criticism is a pathway to growth, a chance to identify weaknesses and make improvements. But for a narcissist, 
Even the most well-intentioned feedback can be perceived as a full frontal assault on their self-image. Their self-worth is precariously balanced on the belief in their perfection and infallibility. Consequently, any hint of criticism, no matter how constructive, challenges this fragile equilibrium. To a narcissist, constructive feedback isn't seen as a helpful insight but rather as a suggestion that they're flawed or inadequate. This is intolerable in their worldview. Even when the criticism comes from a place of care or a desire for mutual growth, it's often met with defensiveness, denial, or counter-criticism. They might question the credentials or motives of the person providing feedback, diverting the conversation away from the issue at hand. What do you know, or you're just trying to bring me down are common refrains. Alternatively, they might shift blame, suggesting that any perceived shortcomings are the result of external factors or other individuals, absolving themselves of responsibility. Understanding this sensitivity is crucial. While it's natural to want to help someone improve, with a narcissist, it's vital to approach the topic with extreme caution or consider if the feedback is worth the potential backlash. Number 5. Revealing Vulnerabilities. The facade a narcissist constructs is one of invulnerability, perfection, and supremacy. Behind this mask, however, often lie deep-seated insecurities. When someone sheds light on or even hints at these vulnerabilities, it strikes at the core of the narcissist's self-perception, making them feel exposed and threatened. For a narcissist, admitting flaws or showing any sign of vulnerability equates to weakness. They go to great lengths to hide these perceived imperfections, not just from the world, but even from themselves. When someone else recognizes or draws attention to these vulnerabilities, it not only reveals their facade but also amplifies their internal fears of inadequacy. Their reactions to such exposures can vary. Some might become aggressive, lashing out to divert attention or to reassert their dominance. Others might retreat, only to plan a calculated response aimed at undermining the person who revealed their vulnerability. Yet, in both cases, the aim is to regain control and rebalance the scales in their favor. For those interacting with narcissists, it's crucial to tread lightly when approaching their vulnerabilities. While it might be tempting to point out these flaws, especially during conflicts, doing so can escalate tensions and lead to unpredictable reactions. Number 6. Exposing Hypocrisy. Narcissists are often masters of double standards, holding others to strict codes of conduct while exempting themselves from the same expectations. They craft an image of moral superiority, righteousness, or expertise, and any exposure of inconsistency between their words and actions can deeply unsettle them. Exposing a narcissist's hypocrisy is akin to shining a spotlight on the cracks in their meticulously constructed facade. Their self-worth is deeply tied to this facade, and they rely on others buying into their portrayed image. When someone highlights the disconnect between what they preach and what they practice, it's not just an attack on their behavior, it's a challenge to their very identity. In response, narcissists often become defensive, dismissive, or retaliatory. They might twist facts, engage in blame shifting, or launch ad hominem attacks. The objective is to deflect from the exposure and re-establish their perceived superiority. While holding someone accountable for hypocrisy is commendable, it's essential to be prepared for the potential fallout when confronting a narcissist. Their reactions can be volatile and aggressive. It's a testament to their inability to handle any form of criticism or challenge, especially when it threatens the image they've so diligently crafted. Remember to use these tactics responsible, as they can cause a lot of aggravation. If you're the victim of narcissistic abuse, check the link in the description. We recommend the video on how to recognize a narcissist next.